Hey you guys, welcome back. We are ready to do a ready to love review. Now, on this episode, got me in my feelings and find out why. Yeah, you look like them. So keep keep watching, you guys. Keep oh, watching. I hope not, man. Yeah, you deliver mail. No, I right. do not. You keep it. I don't count. Yeah. Yeah. L Y. Guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Courtney with the K. Even though sometimes y'all put a C in the comments, Courtney with a K. And this is my husband. No, uh, E Dub, Eddie, uh, Grumpy Man, uh, Uptight Man, whatever. I can go on, but yeah. I choose to hold my peace. <laughs> So, if you're new to this channel, let me tell you what we're all about. We're about Courtney and Eddie. We do relationship topics, reviews, and then we're going to start back doing vlogs, too. And right now, we're doing Ready to Love. So, yeah. Before we get started, I want to share something with you guys. We did a live the other night. And, yesterday. Oh, yesterday. And I wasn't at my best. I wasn't feeling well. I had to get off the live. I kind of like, you know... I wasn't in my best place that night, so I want to apologize for that. I'm just, you know, at the time I wasn't feeling not my best. You know, I was really, really, you know, having issues, you know, illness problems. I was just sick. Yeah. I was sick. Yeah. I was trying to push through it. Should never did it live, but we did it anyway, trying to be there for you guys. So I want to apologize for not pushing all the way through. So I just want to share that with you guys. All right, appreciate it, baby. Um, so if you hadn't already. And you want to subscribe to this channel because we have fun over here, the co-ed family. Go ahead and subscribe down below. If you're watching this via YouTube, you should see a red button. If it is red, still red and not gray, what are you waiting for? That means that you're not subscribed. You're not a part of the family. Like you're on the outside. Like you that distance, distance cousin that's like two states over that nobody talk about and don't nobody care about. And end up marrying because y'all know y'all five cousins apart. Right. <laughs> It's the co-ed fam. So if you're watching us on Facebook, make sure you hit like and follow. So, all right. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is going to be quick. I say that, but sometimes that doesn't always happen. Our videos are ended up longer. So I'm going to stop saying that because that's what the preachers say. I won't be before you long. But yeah. then they end up having two more sermons and after then that. you have one old lady. Keep on pre preaching, Pastor. Take we, your time. Take your time. Take your time. And you're going to sometimes look at the old lady <laughs> with the meanest look. Just sit your old butt down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. So um, this is where the couples are now meeting. Excuse me. Not couples. Peoples. Yeah. The wrong people. show. Wrong show. What couples this you singles. About? Like, you know, a married at first sight. They're couples. So. Oh, no. These are these singles. So now the single ladies are, are now meeting the single men. So they're all meeting each other. And so um, they all coming in, you know. Um, they got their little swag on and everything, but except for one, yeah, we gonna find out who he is. <laughs> he should have just went on to church. He should went on to Bible study that night. All right, so um, the ladies seem to be falling for Mr. AJ. AJ is the one with the beard, you know, tall dog, as they say, tall dog and handsome. At first it was, and yeah, I think they still falling for. Oh, they were falling for all of them. Yeah. So, um, Liz and David seem to have a little connection. So Liz is the beautiful girl well, on her thing. She had like big hair. Um, but, if, and David, you know, no, on this, this video, we're not going to put pictures cause it, it's too much here and there and stuff like that. So, you know, um, we get, all got to get used to the custom, customers, customers. We all got to get used selling? to the people. <laughs> what you say? I'm going to say the couples, but again, we got to get used to the people. And so... What you say? David and Liz was um, finding out they got a little gospel, you know, a little um, church background and stuff, and they started singing. So she sang. And and she sang. might have a little background where he just played along with it. You think so? Yeah, you know, background. He probably looked at his phone, iTunes, find some gospel music. <laughs> <laughs> so now. The teacher shows up on the scene. Not Which Jason. One? Not Jason, What's the younger teacher. What teacher? Kalia. I think that's his Ooh. name. Am I pronouncing it correctly? Yeah. Kalia. Swag 101. He had so much swag, man. Well, it was. He must have left it at home. <laughs> the child, he came in there, honey, like he was going to get ready to teach class. 
And I'm like, dude, first of all, where you going with that upper half? It's just like. It didn't match or nothing. It man. is like a meeting at church, you know what I'm saying? And where you got to be a little casual. And that one button holding on, honey, it was holding on for dear life. Like, it is finna, you finna part the Red Sea. I don't get it. I, how he get through the preliminaries. I don't understand. I guess they got to have somebody eliminate. They be like, mm, perfect. Come on in here, honey. He probably didn't even know how he made it. He was like, ooh, thank you, Jesus. I made it. Nothing but the favor. But, mm -mm. You're the sacrificial lamb, huh? I guess yeah. so. We got to have somebody eliminate the first date. Because y'all remember when we did a live and we went through him, it was like, 41? Like, he looked a little older than that. But actually, he don't it, when you actually saw him. But his whole mannerism is just like. He is, he is awkward. You know, like I said, no swag. He just he should have been found the little oh, 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 he should have been found the lady. I I don't I don't see him getting um I don't see him having a problem per se getting somebody that's maybe you know maybe somebody like him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These people on here, they uh yeah they have swag. They have some kind of sex appeal about themselves and charisma and right. just you know and, and he, he just, just didn't have that. Maybe they just plopped him in there just said mm, <laughs> left on. Throw him in there. He, he, he looked like, he look like a, lost, a lost kid in a Kansas store. He do. The other guys <laughs> was just coming in there and like, let me get it. And, you know, he was looking really lost. And, you know, the one, the comedian, um, Tessa, Tessa, she said, Tessa. Uh, mm -mm, he ain't got no swag. Not, me. not, not, not one inch of swag. Nope. Man. I, I said, how, how did he get on the show? To do what happened tonight. All right, so... Um, the guys fit well. One guy, I think his name Ronald. He said he feel a little intimidated per se with Chris because Chris almost like a celebrity. The Chris that came from the last season, he oh. like a celebrity. He didn't came on, so you know the women go, "Oh, nice to meet you, Chris." Oh, I heard what happened. Oh, yeah, I'm he, sorry yeah. for you. I'm he, so sorry. Yeah, he do have an advantage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, let's keep it real. He has an advantage. He was on the season last season, and everybody knows him, and everybody felt sorry for him. So that's. And he said it was Chris said it was a hashtag out there. Yeah. Uh, what was the hashtag? What was I it? I forgot I ain't right yeah. now. But yeah, he said he got a hashtag out there, well, you know, for Chris and everything. So <clears throat> Hope you don't screw this up, man. They're gonna answer that question one more time. How you how you split the bills up? And if you get that same answer. We gon we gonna talk about that when it happens. <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. I'm just saying that's his answer should be. Like we'll discuss that when it happens, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So I'm sure he learned his lesson. Nah, so I don't, I don't know. He probably did. Um, Alexa, I think Alexa flies her name. So she is the former pastor wife. Um, she found out that you know Jason, which is a teacher, that he is her son's basketball coach, right? Yeah. And um, she, she had been crushing on him before that. Yeah. So it's like Houston, a little smaller than we probably thought. Nah, you know? Houston's a big. Well, they say Houston's a big city. I have never been there before, but you got a couple of people that kind of know each other, yeah. have a, you know, background each other. So you know, she was crushing on him and stuff, and she was telling. And at first, I didn't think he was feeling her because you know, um, she seems to. Thirsty, probably. I wouldn't say thirsty, but she was a little forward. But she too she, aggressive. No, no. I won't say that word again. No, no, no. No, this mm, show. Mm, mm, no. Sorry, don't take that back. Mm -mm. So I don't think that she was too for. I think that she was a little forward in her. Hey, I was feeling you. I've been, you know, <clears throat> looking maybe. at you for a while and stuff. But I didn't feel anything wrong with it. But I thought maybe that he was kind of, you know, bagging off. I think uh, he was. I thought he wasn't feeling her. Oh, but yeah. you know, she did a thing, and I think he ended up saying that, you know, he was feeling her. Yeah, like you said, you know, he basically said, I don't think he. You say he didn't think he was feeling her. I think he was just like probably surprised that she felt that, that. Yeah, she felt that way. Yeah. Which now you know what you felt that way about me. I felt that way about you, but they never made a move towards one another. Right. So, um, so Ida said this now. Ida is the lighter skinned lady with you know um, the big eyelashes. Yeah, there. I knew it was something going on with her. I thought she had eyes at her, but she got blonde hair. Yeah, so, it short hair. Yeah, the one that did talk mm -hmm. talk like you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I you know what when he said that, I said, Thank you, Jesus. I thought I was the only one that had to deal with a woman that talk, 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 talk. You get two words, they cut you off, then you talk, 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 talk. Now, continue. <laughs> um, so anyway, so Ida had said to the other guy with the she beard. She got an old name too. I know Ida. that's right. Um My she said Ida. See who cutting who out. I'm gonna let him talk. Okay? It don't just be me. <laughs> so 
I had a had told dude like you give me. I thought we had to rewind it and actually put the words up there because oh, I thought yeah. she said you give me gay vibes, and I was like, well, who would tell a woman would tell a man that? And you know, he didn't seem to really flinch, but. I don't know. He did kind of. That's what threw me off because the way he looked at him. He like, kind of, yeah, he looked yeah. at him, but not in a way like, well, who say that? You know, yeah. but um, but found that the thing said Marvin, Marvin Gaye. Gay. See, we didn't. You know what? This could be editing because I, I, I. You thought you said gay. I did, yeah. and I'm quite sure a lot of you guys probably did too. But we had to put the what they call the look caption on there. So Close we, caption. Yeah, so yeah. we can see, but they said Marvin Gaye vibes. Like, and Even the cloak, because we did it twice. The first time, the cloak caption said something like, M. Gay, because they couldn't get the words out. They rewinded it again, then it finally said Marvin Gaye. Okay. So I think she was talking so fast, the closed caption couldn't keep up with her. Right. Like somebody else is on, somebody else I know. We talk. Eh, eh, what? Eh, we talking. If it wasn't for me talking, there would never be a Courtney and Eddie YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, fair point. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, let's move on to Joel. So the ladies is feeling Mr. Joel. Joel is uh, the one with the, 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 the drill. Mm -hmm. uh, the oil guy. Yeah, he had his rig. chest open, yeah. everything and stuff. The single dad. Yeah, with the twins. Mm -hmm. So he is feeling Miss Venetia. Venetia. Big one. Yeah. So when we put this video on Instagram, the lady corrected us in saying how many children she had. So, you know, um, and I, I kind of went back and there was a friend of hers. Mm. But yeah, so yeah. Um, so he feeling her. He's really feeling her. As we can see, it seemed like they get, a, you know, uh, yeah, get to know each other yeah, a little bit more. He got that. He's from New Orleans and he got that New Orleans yeah. lingo, man, yeah. that dialect. Kind of like Hollywood. Hollywood. And uh, what's the other guy from... Uh, Bell Collector. Oh, yeah. Yeah, her husband. Yeah. Clifford. Yeah. Cliff. Cliff. We didn't call him Clifford. <laughs> I think his name was Clifton or Cliff. Cliff. Uh, Cliff. I use all of Cliff as a big red dog. I don't know. I don't know. It could have been. But anyway, so let's move on to my little friend. He didn't even make it. The mailman. Mm hmm. God. The mailman. We put it for the mailman, too. Man. So, yeah, um, it seems like the ladies like him, but he's not assertive he's, enough mm, or, you know. Too he, timid. Yeah, and he just seemed like, you know, he just kind of float. And then he seemed like he is a little bitty man, you know, as far as his statue, you know, little dude. So, you know. Well, maybe got to do anything. Well, he's kind of surrounded by, to me, big like. Big guys. Big guys. They make him look small. Yeah, and then, you know, some of the women may be a little bit taller than him, you know, here. So, I'm not saying... But they was actually feeling the guy. They you know, they Chris, uh, Chris 2.0. Kristen. I mean, yeah. Christian. Christian, yeah, Christian. And they was feeling him. They tell you he was a handsome guy and everything, but he was too soft-spoken. And they said, and he said that he wanted um, to love a woman like he wanted his mom to be loved. So, you know. And the reason why I was pulling for the guy, because you got all these guys, I'm entrepreneur. I'm entrepreneurs and you know the big jobs he was a blue collar type of guy and he worked nine to five or you know how the post office work and he was just grinding and right. i was pulling for the guy man and, and you know so um andrea or adrian or andrea um she was telling the story about her cat Running the poor man away, he said he did not want to hear nothing about that cat. Then come to find out that she thought the cat was dead, but the cat wasn't dead. Cat ran away. So he was like, I'm just turned out by her. So he just wasn't feeling her. She looked kind of weird in a way. Her and, the, her and Christian probably would have been good together, to be honest. They sat there and talked. And even when they was talking, it was like I awkward. think it was, yeah, she was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, they were yeah. on different sides of the couch. And yeah. it was like, oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, so, um, Tommy went around and started asking the ladies who they're feeling and who they're not feeling. So, you know, a, a, a good majority of the guys they were feeling, but the guys they were not feeling was, um, teacher. Who that? Deacon teacher. Deacon teacher. Yeah. Kalia and, um, Christian, you know, they, they call him Lil Chris. Lil, you talking Lil about Chris? 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 Yeah, Lil no, Chris. Lil Chris, yeah. Yeah, and they wasn't feeling Ron. I think his name is Ron. Ron. I don't see why not, you know. Ron? 
I didn't see enough of them, but yeah, I don't see why not. But Yeah. So um, they come to find out that this is what AJ and Kara, I think I'm pronouncing her name right. Um, she had the green dress on, if y'all watched. Um, she and AJ and her had a, you know, went on several dates, two dates. Two, two dates. And the second date, you know, um, she went to the restroom. She left her card there for the tab. Um, and so when she left and came back, none had been touched. So meaning that, you know, cause we had to talk amongst ourselves like, okay, well he didn't touch, but he didn't get the tab. So she still had to get the tab. So she said her friends called him El Cheapo. So, you know, she was in her feelings about that. So. Well, you say what I was about to say, but. What? No, no, you know, you El Cheapo, man, you know. So tell the story of when they did talk, you know. Uh, well, he said his credit card got declined, which I don't believe. I'm sorry, I don't believe that. Uh, because to me, I understand you have your pride, but you could have said, oh, I left my card, or can you get it? I'm, you know, i get you next time. But he didn't explain none of that to her. You know, so he just left it there so he can, so she can pay for the tab. Right. So that's why I said I don't buy that my credit card decline thing. So he's just trying to clean it up. So, hey, either way, you know, you either cheap, or you broke, right. you know what I'm saying, one to two, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because from what I gather, it wasn't like it was a whole deal, meal or something, was yeah. it just drinks? Yeah, it was drinks, something? I think, yeah. Well, she had like I a, guess where you go, drinks could be high, honey. Well, it's still like, like somebody dollars. told me, honey dolls ain't nothing on a date. Mm -mm, one hundred ain't nothing. Y'all in the comments, y'all got it. Yeah, y'all got it. So if he can't, if he, if he can't afford a hundred dollars for a tab, yeah, he cheap or he broke one to two. Yep, y'all made it clear. Oh, hundred dollars ain't nothing. Made me feel bad. I had to reassess my life. Had yeah. me look in the mirror and say, "Man, what's going?" On? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, he did explain it because she was like, you know, I was stealing my feelings about it. So they had a conversation. So it was like, okay, we gonna yeah, try to have a second that. chance. But you know, um, but he did say, you know, he was a little embarrassed about it. But I do agree with you. You know, he could have contacted her back and explained to her and say, listen, let me take you out because this is what happened last time, you know, whatever. And I want to make sure that, you know. And it's not just that. He's and she, The way she put it, he got an attitude towards her because, you know what she said, you got a little snapping with me after the after it oh, happened. Yeah. So, yeah. So, to me, that's why I said I don't believe that the statement of, the statement of him saying his credit card declined because she said even after you didn't pick up the tab, you came at me with a snappy attitude. Mm, she better stay clear from that one. Yeah, so AJ, he may not be. Mm -mm, AJ. As soon as that story get around, honey, people gonna be running from him because mm. women don't like no cheap men. No, I know that's right. I, what? You taking me where? Chick Fil A? Hey, Chick Fil A is expensive, man. <laughs> <laughs> So we come to find out that now they are down to elimination and um, Tommy had to tell, you know, the men, it's supposed to be the men, one man was going home, one woman was going home. So it comes to find out that, you know, he had to tell Deacon Khalil that he was not ready for love. You know, I hate for women to say that. They, sometimes they be ready for love, but they just not ready. Right, they, for, that, for that bunch, bunch of people. Right there. Yeah. So, uh, then you gotta make that long walk to the door. I like, know, right? But at ooh. least he gonna get it out the way. You know, he ain't, he ain't had time to build no relationship or connection that. with nobody. I said, uh, nephew, Tom, you just had to text me in my room so I can leave the door. Know, right? <laughs> and then when they said, yeah, clear, you're not ready to love, some lady said, what? Like she was probably so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> she probably uh, the main one like mm -mm, no he not ready then she want to try to play it out what? I guarantee you it was a tussle yeah I guarantee you it was a <laughs> <laughs> I'm so shocked I thought for sure uh, he would be around all uh, knowing alone all them ladies was like mm mm baby go and get him up out here cause he ain't even merch in the last he ain't merch in the last yeah he know it so um Troy was talking to Alexa. So y'all know Pimp Daddy Troy, the one that's fifty one years old uh, that said uh, that uh, I talk about it right here. Yeah, you do. You do. You do. Go ahead. Now I was pulling for Troy because he's the older cat. But after what I seen tonight, mm -mm. What you saw? You saw the previews and saw how he was acting tonight. You kiss on these women, oh. you know, telling them, you know, I'm gonna take you here, I'm gonna 
We call him. What you call him? Traveling Troy. That's what I wrote down. You didn't even give me what I wrote down to say <laughs> what I wanted to say. So yeah. So Troy was talking to Alexa, and you know, as he told, I don't know if he told. Um, I think he told um, Venice, Ven, Ven, the girl with the pink on. I think he told her pink. that. You know, um, about traveling. Like, you like traveling stuff? He's like, I can go to Cancun. So he did um, Alexa fly same Alexa. Way. Alexa fly that the same way. So she was like, That's his line. So, yeah, you know, girls, hey, what girl don't want to travel out the country or whatever, you know? So, yeah. Well, I ain't got to be out the country. It sure don't have to be out the country. Ain't nobody finna fly to Orlando. No, who said we got to fly? Travel. Get on that Greyhound bus. That ain't what he's saying. So uh, I know, Troy, but still. Troy using his little pimp lines and well, stuff. And I don't know. I don't like but it. But see, Troy, he feel like, especially younger women, that's what they like to travel. You know what I'm saying? If he can show them, I can take you here, take you there. It's a, you know, it's an easy ploy for him. But once again, he said that, you know, he a latest man. He'll catch, you know, all the he's women. A, to me, he's not ready for love, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, he not. And, 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 and he's a, he's a catching y'all there. And I'm saying, you 51 years old, you ain't never been married. You know, you don't have kids. Like, what's, what's your problem? But anyway. I feel like he still has that player mentality yeah, in him. And that's why I said he's not ready for love. And he's worse than anybody from last season, in my opinion. So far, so far. Yeah, no, they were just the first one. Yeah, but you can see how, you can see his personality though. So Jason is talking to Ida. So this is where we were talking about Jason was like, This woman talks too much and I can't get a word in age why. She asked me a question before I could answer it. She then already went on to the next one. So they got Jason up there looking at the moon. I said, What? And so yeah, he's not feeling her. I, I yeah. Oh, that was a whole minute. How can somebody say that in one? You know how you take that deep breath in your lung, that all that air in your lung, and you just let it out. She can do that and continue on for five minutes off, off like one that. suction of air in her lungs. She can get. Bruh. But I bet you this. I didn't want me to corner it while me talking. Nope. Right, what? I bet you this. What? This is my God-given talent, and it's going to make me some God-given money. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Watch. Just watch. Just watch. Just watch. All right. So, moving right along. As I off. See, I can't. See, I told you. I was going to finish. No, know. you were talking no. cut me off. So, no, no, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to say, no, say. say something about the, well, the couple. Now, the well, the two singles. Now, Ida, what's the other guy name? Figure it out, honey. I talk too much. Uh, school teacher 2.0. It was Jason. Two, Jason. Yeah, man. You know, if somebody, all jokes aside, somebody is all they're doing is talking about themselves, of course you're going to shut down. You're not going to pay them no attention, man, because it's all about them. If a conversation is two ways, you talk, I listen, I talk, you listen. But if you're going to continue talking, I'm sitting there and listening, all I am to you is your therapist. Point blank. Well, my husband still hasn't figured that out yet. Because he say that he get, he is shut down if I start talking. He yeah, because I can't get nothing in. mama head. start talking again. So, yeah, yeah, but mama, her, when they start rambling on, I used to know what. Forget it. I'm going to sit here and listen. What? Do you, boo? <laughs> All right, so AJ and Kara... <laughs> Are having a conversation. Oh, we talked about that, and you know about the car, you know, declining and all that stuff. And so he cleared the air. Um, still didn't clear the air, but go ahead. Ronald was talking to Andrea. That's the cat lady. And um, <laughs> that's a nickname, cat lady. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> that's a cat lady. So she basically was just they was having a conversation about um, staying at home and raising kids and stuff. So he want kids, she want kids, but he was saying basically he want his woman to stay at home and raise kids. So. Well, like I said, everybody's not for everybody. That's what he wants. That's what he believes in. He believes in the old traditional marriage. Hey, can't fault the brother. She don't believe in it. Can't fault her. So just move on. Yeah. So um, the question, um, Tommy came around asking the uh, men who they wasn't feeling. And so, of course, they weren't feeling, well, Jason said he wasn't feeling either. She talk a lot. That we said talking about yeah. mouth almighty. Um, Andrea the cat lady, they ain't feeling her. And Tessa, somebody said Tessa the comedian. I somebody I, was being petty because he said something about her afro. 
Yeah, with the big hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you may not be feeling it, but I think that she needs to stay. Now, I don't know um, about Ida. She seems to be a little funny herself. Um, but the cat lady don't seem like she bring nothing. But yeah, the only thing every time you say that now, every time I look at her, I'm thinking about the Simpsons. Who in the Simpsons? They got a woman there called a cat lady. She got a lot of cats. <laughs> so they did like a um, you know, Tommy was like, okay, I know I said that another uh, a woman was going home, but we switched up. Oh, a man was going home. Uh, yeah, when he said that first, first before he said that. The guys back there, ooh, yeah, dog, we safe, because school teacher gone, you know what I'm saying? We good, man, we good. They were laughing, hey, hey, what's up, man? And with your boy, our boy, Mel, man, he was like, man, I'm safe, man, I'm safe. Then he said that, and smile, <laughs> <laughs> the smile just disappeared, <laughs> boy. <laughs> and Colin caught me, I was surprised, what? Oh, man. Our mailman man gonna be gone this time. There was no way that he can avoid this one here, man. And Chris was like, you know, Chris from last season, he was like, man, I ain't got nervous, man. That's something new. They ain't do that last season. So I he's said, like, man, he Chris ain't, ain't going, going nowhere, well. man. Stop playing. Yeah. Man. Stop playing. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, it ended up Chris, Kristen, Christian, 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 the mailman. He ended up going home, and I feel so sorry for him. I'm like, man, they could have gave him another chance. Yeah, or see, they, they shouldn't even change them rules up. See, if they did one man and one woman, yeah. he would have been there next week. But no, nah, they want to change the rules they up. They could have sent Cat Lady home. Yeah, send Cat Lady home so she can find that cat around the street somewhere. <laughs> probably open the tree so. She, <laughs> and she said she was getting a little sit and you know, she was at so she So, yeah, that, to me, that would have been a red flag. What? You talking about you getting upset? Cause I don't know. I'm take it back off people. They take yeah, their they, pets they, they, real they, serious. Yeah, y'all in the comments will come for yeah, everybody but animals. I'm just saying, man. If you taking, if you talking about cats and <laughs> you know you thought he was dead, but he missing, you ruin your day. You know. Well, you know, cats too can be like known as you know. They can go somewhere and come back two days later. No. I won't finna say that. No. But cats can be known as, like we were saying, the cat lady. Oh, oh, she got a cat. She likes staying in the house. Yeah, it's, it's a stereotype Yeah, it is a it's stereotype, stereotype but, behind. You know, like they got Because a lot of issues. people have dogs. Yeah. You know, but, you know. But whatever you like, you like. That's, that's all some I know. Some people like birds. Some people like snakes. Just give me a little goldfish, a little maintenance. Yeah. So anyway, um, on that note, you guys, that's all we got. Don't forget to go to our website for coedwear.com to purchase some merch. And um, make sure you join our membership, you guys. And, you know, so you can get your special emoji. Y'all seen them, if y'all watched on Community Tab, y'all seen the emojis that you are entitled to for just like 99 cents a month. All right, you guys, on that note, that's all I got. What about you? Well, that's it. That all right. is it, man. All right, well, we will see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to go with God and let God go with you. Deuces.